Welcome, my good people, back to the Chess of Obscurity. And we're continuing the Top Gear trilogy with, with Top Gear 2. Brought to us by Kemco and Gremlin Craft. So, as you can see, this music is a little more weird than usual. So, we can start the game, change country. And so far, we have Australia, Australia or as they would call Australasia, Britain. Canada, Egypt, France, Germany, Greece, India, wow. In Ireland, Italy, Japan, Scandinavia, South America, Spain, Switzerland, and the United States. So, we have no choice but to... We have no choice but to stick with that. Let's see. So we're actually going to try this out, as we are entering Australia. better than the first game. A lot better. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure many people have heard of the sequel of Top Gear 2. The third in the series is called Top Gear 3000. The controls are a bit more tired than the first game. At least I know it's a little faster than the first game, especially when you punch the nitros.
Rubber Stranding still exists. But it's still just as good though. good though you know that's still good the controls are nice and tight I really do like that that's a plus so I am gonna try you know a, a bit of this as this is my first time tr actually playing Top Gear 2. And I'm playing it like if it was Do Daytona. Nail the turns and just punch it. This, you know, I'm on their ass. Not all racing games work like this, though. At least I know for good reason that I can just really catch up to them. I do like this, you know. I wonder why it wasn't that popular during the Super Nintendo age. I'm really not going to question this shit. Let's just see how far we can punch this. Canterbury Plains. Oh. 
So you have to do it mostly in this game, just as soon as you put the foot on the gas, punch it all the way in. And so reminiscent to Rad Racer. That's why in a game like this, you just have to just like not let go, just keep it high and on the trigger. Not much I can say about this, except this is so much better than the first game. Quite a big improvement. With the controls, the music. And like I said, it reminds me so much of um, Rad Racer. The trick with this game is basically, as long as you can nail second, like really quick, or first, you pretty much got the race won. Finally. That is awesome. Sydney, Australia. Two laps. Now you can upgrade at any given time as long as you have the funds for it. Oh, that's a nice touch. Rain's a very nice touch. Oh, with the lightning too? Unfortunately there is unfortunately there is no um pit. So the sad thing about that is oh well you can't really just stop and you know get healed up at a pit stop or anything like that. A bit 
like um, RC program where you pick up little things like nitros and extra money and whatnot. But as I mentioned before, this is one of those games that, you know, that is definitely worth trying out for yourself if you never tried the first game. Even though the first game was more memorable than, than the other two, still this isn't bad for a sequel. Of course, you have armor, as you notice. There, got some money. So at least where I am, you know, it's considerable as nice to be in first and allow yourself to, you know, slack off a bit. But that's still good though. Because I still qualify. Well, like I said, I can, I can, I can let myself slack as long as I'm still in first in points. So now we reach Britain. Ah, uh, luckiness. So now I can upgrade. how far I can actually reach before I actually, you know, break out. So far I'm still in in good standing. quickly because the upgrade I, I just made.
know my Skype is gone, but I can't answer it right now. So at the same time that I'm looking at the road, I'm, I'm looking at the map as well. I'm gonna be sitting for a while in, in fifth until I actually know the course. That's okay. Like I said, this is a challenge of my abilities. As you see, it's like, oh, the sky kind of cleared up after the fact that I just like, oh, guess what? Oh, the sky cleared up. Man, that engine is, is angry. The trick with this game is stay as close as you can to all the other drivers. Don't let them get too ahead of you. That's what I've learned throughout the many games that I've played with, you know, in arcade racing. Just stay as close as you can. Just tighten that, just tighten that little gap. that pressure and not let go.
like that. All you need is one good race. All you need is one good race just to get you in first. And to maintain it, just get enough high points as you possibly can and then Write it for all it's worth. And if you can actually get in first early, that's even better. You guys already know that. Oh, look at all that money. It's myself to screw up because I'm real I'm in real good standing I can allow myself to screw up defensively in this game. What I try to do all the time is, well, drive defensively as well as being aggressive. Technically, that's all you have to do. As soon as you get that, you know, that first place, you gotta hold it. And seriously, hold it. Believe it or not, I haven't slept since. Probably after this video. I'll get some sleep. I'll upload this later, you know. Heat wave, man. Oh, no, 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 motherfucker. Uh-oh, bitch. Oh, you trying it? Okay. No, you stay the fuck back there. That was being nice, but... Fuck this shit. Right 
right behind me too, but like, yeah. uh, no sir. Stonehenge. From worst to first. Trying to run, I see him. Bye. I know they're trying to run, that's what they that's what they're doing. Every time you see you're coming up real close, oh yeah, guess what? They're running. I play bridge racer, bitch. I know what I'm doing. This has really been a good game, though. And again, not even trying. Even if I am using Chase, still, I'm not trying. mention this in my um in my Tenkai talk video but you know it just dawned on me oh hey I didn't mention that a few things I also didn't mention but oh hell no sir Sneak it up on me, you asshole. Done that a second time. You ain't doing that a third. Canada, shall we?
anymore since we're in Canada. We're not going to blame them. Oh, so now they're playing defensively, I see. I know that. You know, the higher you get, the more aggressive they will become. I'm playing until I rank out. I hate when people try to break my flow like that. Like, you know, just busting my room, why don't you? I'm going somewhere. Yeah, okay, fine. It's like most times when I'm trying to record something. Really? Just say excuse me. I get that most times. But most times I'm like, I'm okay with it as long as I pause my video in between to say, okay, sorry about that. Usually happens like round oh like say around oh six AM in the morning. It doesn't usually tell me, oh make sure you do this, make sure you do that, that it's fine then, you know. I still rank in, so that's good. Top five, which is still bad. Well, in the top, yeah, top five. Niagara. And it's gonna be raining. Let's rock it. Three, two, one. Go! And they're underway. At least I'm in fifth and a tight fifth. Thank 
gear. Get in gear. Close that gap. I play competitively, but I play smart when I'm competitive. What most people don't do, most times, like, they have to feel that they have to get uberly competitive. Not really the case. Like, it's okay if you want to play to win, but just remember, you know, to have fun with it. Because we're not playing it for fun, you know, we're just doing it wrong. Only time I become a sore loser is if you know it starts loading and like I put my controller down. So now there's a, there's such a thing as a sore loser, and then there's a sore winner. I think I've done that before. Guy I know just just never just hate to lose. Wait, he never showed it on his face. You know what I did? I put my controller down. So I don't want to play anymore. Why? Well, first off, um, you too sore when you when you lose. And then when you and then when you win, it's like it's there like, oh hey, I'm just gonna beat the living shit out of you just because. Toronto. Wow. Oh shit! Oh shit! Getting that lead is very important in, in a two-lap race. As is important to keep it. And notice the better your your engine the more you can recover faster. Well, I 
I never understood is why people would make such a big deal about sheets. I mean, yeah, I use sheets sometimes. Especially in a game in which I can just goof, goof around at my own leisure. But you know, that's my prerogative. If I want to use cheats on certain games, I will. But I think after all this, I think I'm going to just call this video after I'm done with the last uh, Canada. Because I think that's a good stopping point. But I think I've shown you most of what this game offers as well as, well as the, the courses. Night course, huh? You guys don't like me when I'm aggressive. I don't like you guys when you're aggressive either. Top three now. Time I need to maintain that. thing is I'm in the top three so it would have been nice if I had gotten you know first but you know as long as I rank in that's the most important thing 
That's the most important thing in any race. You rank in. definitely good enough for me to stop here. So that was Top Gear 2 for the Super Nintendo. Brought to us by Kemco and Gremlin Graphics. I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to say, but this was a great big improvement of the first game. And I can only expect the third and the third of the trilogy to be just as good if not better. So, any of these games that I have shown you on on, on the Chess Obscurity on my channel has interest you, please drop me a message. Um, sub, like, and, you know, the usual YouTube thing that you guys do. But that'll do it for me. As this was, as I think I've done enough damage f to this one game, and I can only say I'm pleased with the results. From worst to first, that's how I do things. So I've been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi, Cookie Izzy Seven, and this was. Top Gear 2. I'll see you next time for more videos. Until then, take care. God bless. Senpai's blessings upon you, my good people. Have a great and wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Musou!